hello guys welcome back to sap 2000 video tutorials in this video tutorial we'll go through wind load analysis so as i had this structure in my last video tutorial and i had a deflection really really high and the reason behind it was the load that i applied was in keep feet when it should have been in i'm sorry it was in kip inches when it should have been in pounds feet i mean i should i had like 65 psf load in the ends and in between i had at 150 psf at one at one place and in the corridor i was having 100 psf so when you apply those loads you will get deflection which is less than one inch so however i removed the loads in this video tutorial and we'll just be going for the wind load analysis so as you see you have your structure over here what i want to do is i'm just gonna select all the slab members and beam members and I'm just gonna replicate them the direction will be z direction and I'll say 20 feet since it's going upwards and I want it I want the replication to start at 20 feet like the one where I'm showing my cursor and I'll have two more floors from there I'll select OK. So as you can see now I have four flows. What I'll do is I'll just add in two more. Uh, let me go to select command get previous selection and let's go to edit say replicate and now instead of 20 i'll have 40 feet select ok so now as you can see i have six levels okay that is enough in this case so basically for wind load analysis uh, SAP does it automatically like it is uh, the wind load acting at lowest point will be lesser when compared to the highest point in the building so uh, the program does that calculations on its own so first I'll do is I'll go to define load pattern and I'll say wind in x direction that is fine for now also dead load instead of dead I'll have wind over there and my load pattern auto lateral load pattern the code will be ASE 710 2010 nothing but I'll select add load pattern and then I'll select modify lateral load pattern now as you can see you have many options in here so this rigid diaphragm case we will see in the future video tutorials for now we'll go for exposure from frame and area objects and since you do not have any walls in here like for lateral like area objects nothing but for lateral uh, loading so you'll just say include frame objects I mean this is an open structure not a closed structure if it was if we had walls all over the building then it would have been a closed structure and we would have selected only area objects but now I'll say include frame objects and wind direction angle will be zero my wind speed yeah this is tricky part coming to my wind speed what I will do is 
I'll go to a website called windspeed.atcouncil.org and whichever location I want to find this wind speed for I can do that I'll just need to enter the address of that like I'll just enter some city let's say Dallas Texas United States I'll select find and some latitude or longitude is we get if you have the exact address you can enter the exact address in there with pin code and you will get the um, wind speed for that address so I'll say get wind speed and I can see like my wind speed is 105 for its category 1 and 115 for risk category 2 and 120 for risk category 3 and 4 so basically uh, like the risk category 1 is the case in which uh, the risk to the people is very low like even if it falls collapses the people affected will be very less in this so when you have a structure like that like let's say canopy or let's say small um, ga uh, small garage canopy kind of things they they if they fall they will not affect many people so in that case you use the risk category one coming to risk category two this is the case which is applied for mostly residential buildings commercial buildings i mean the buildings which like doesn't come under one three and four categories the risk category three comes under uh, like it comes under a uh, structure which if it collapses affects a lot of people like let's say schools hospitals all those kinds of structures come under risk category 3 coming to risk risk category 4 this structure affects whole lot of communities like let's say an industrial structure with toxic gas emitting structures so yeah those come under category 4 so ours will be risk category 2 and my wind speed is 115 mph so I'll just minimize this I'll have 115 mph exposure type so we typically have three types of exposures B C and D so B is the type of exposure in which you have a building which is surrounded by other buildings or structures which doesn't let I mean the wind cannot directly come and affect your structure it has to go through other buildings like yeah so it is uh, so exposure B is structure which has like which is surrounded by other buildings and structures coming to exposure type C it is a structure which is not surrounded by any buildings I mean it might have like low height houses but that won't uh, affect the wind that much so like if you have a building in between in an area where which is not surrounded by many buildings then you need to consider exposure type C coming to exposure type D this occurs in structures like you have to apply this on structures which are nearby to coastal areas so mine will be exposure type B and the gust factor the KD factor nothing but directionality factor all this come from your ASCE wind speed manuals so I'll keep the direction angle 0 this will be point to constant topographical factor will be 1 and coming to exposure height I want the program to calculate the loads automatically I, I mean I can specify it but I, I could like I want my program to do it for me so you can enter exposure words I'll select OK for now and then I'll add one more load pattern 
let's say in y direction and I'll have the same load pattern AC710 add new load pattern modify lateral load pattern and instead of 0 degrees you'll have 90 degrees that is all you need to make change in this you select ok now you select ok and let's see what do we have in load case combinations okay we have this let me just delete dead load case even model load case even that one so these are all the other load cases that are created and if i go to load combinations i can say add default design combos as for concrete frame design oh you have multiple combinations fine you can check them if you want like you can just select anything and say modify combo you can see did you have did place that combination yeah which like we don't have any dead so don't worry about the combinations so the next thing i'll do is like i'll go to a sign okay i'll need to what i'll do is i'll select my structure Oh, okay, I think I don't need this node points. All right, I'll select my structure. I'll go to design under frame loads. I'll go to open structure wind parameters. So my element is loaded by wind is. Yes. Uh, net force shape coefficient for wind program determined ice thickness for wind program determined that is good i'll have selected items i'll select okay now so if you want to see the loading uh, if, let me see which direction do we have x so as you see this direction we have x and this direction we have y so let me show you the load so in here you say show frame loads you select WX you just want WX and open structure wind loads frame local select ok yeah you see those loads open structure wind loads Similarly, you can view for WY. And Okay guys, uh, sorry for getting this fast but okay uh, what I did was like I just removed all the load combinations and I had to take a small break sorry for that and I had to remove all the load cases and I went to load patterns in here for wy i went in wy and i said modify lateral load pattern so the mistake that i made was like i selected exposure from extents of rigid diaphragm i need to select this and include frame objects open structure 
and now I'll select OK select OK now let me see if I can see my WY load I should be able to there you go so this is positive y direction you can even apply negative y direction which is what I'm not gonna do right now so let me try to analyze this structure all right looks like we have something in here finally anyways deformed shape let's go to deform shape draw displacement contours use it fine and you can see the displacement or the uh, this is in feet let me change it to inches there you go 0 0.004 inches you can see over here the maximum is 1.08 to the power minus 3 anyways so that is your structure you can even see your uh, mated animation which is moving here and there and this is in the other direction So you can even see your maximum and minimum joint displacements over here. So the maximum is for me 0 0.02. This is nothing but it like uh, the animation kind of varies. Like let's say I have W, X and I say start animation. So it will take it in W, X direction and let me go for wy and select ok and say start animation even this does the same thing it uh, transfers you between the different load cases so guys uh, this is how you do the wind load analysis on an open frame structure uh, we'll do for a closed structure in the coming video tutorials thank you for watching the video please comment below if you have any questions and please subscribe thank you